tree was parked. Mm -hmm. It was parked, you know, there's um, cars everywhere. People want to know what's happening. And <laughs> Francis Dean is still haunted by what he saw the night Grenfell Tower burned. His friend Zainab had called to say she was trapped on the 14th floor with her two-year-old son, Jeremiah. Francis rushed to the scene. I'm trying to tell her to come, come, come now, come now, come where you come here, you can see the fire. He's coming, he's out of control. As Francis stood at the police cordon, his desperation was captured on a mobile phone. What flights? 14 floor, that's 14 yeah, floor. 113, 113. Okay. We've got a young child there. Yeah, stay there. And they're suffocating. I stood there trying to shout at Jamie, come out, come out, come out. Come now, 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 come. Come, man. She was just crying. She was crying. She was crying. I couldn't, I couldn't do it anymore. Because I was getting emotional, I was getting frustrated, I was angry because I couldn't get to her. I know she had to come out. She had to come out. She, had to... <sighs> she got stuck. She, she was just trapped. Francis could also hear oh. others calling for help that night. That's what's in my head. That's how it is. And the screams and the boom, you know, you know, the noises and help, help, well. Help. No help is coming. Francis says he stayed on the phone with Zainab for nearly four hours. What are you doing? Get a damn box of the towel, yeah? You were telling people to stay in the building, bro. They were saying stay in the building. Okay. Use the stairs. Yeah, I would. Use the stairs if you can. Zainab Dean never made it out of Grenfell Tower. She died alongside two year old Jeremiah. As well as grief, Francis now feels anger. Somebody <laughs> should be held accountable for what happened at the Greenfield Tower. Definitely. You know, they have to send somebody to jail. Have to. You know, because <laughs> to me, if you ask my honest opinion, this is murder. Francis is still grieving for the friend he lost. I'm a broken man. You know, part of me died that night. I'm not the same person.